Perfect. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, actually, this video is like as you probably know because it's already out before watching this. Um, but I know this is probably out in May, and I'm filming this in March. So this just feels really, really weird, but I can survive it. So anyway. <laughs> Welcome to a new video on this channel and I have seen so many people who like my cleaning videos um, really very much. I have no idea why but today I'm actually going to show you, I'm actually going to tell you how I am cleaning, how my life is with cleaning and how I deal with it and also some cleaning tips that I've learned along the way, even if you have pets or no pets. So I'm gonna start with why I started cleaning. Um, I started cleaning when I was about, I think I was about 12 to 13 years old, and I really, really started to enjoy it, and every time I moved my room, because I moved my room a lot, um, as you saw, I redid my room, and now I'm finished redoing my room. I, but I started to redo my room because I want new features, I want to move it around. I, the thing was, it was not an organized way, it was not good. So if you watch my older vlogs, you've probably seen that my room was in a state of a mess all the time. Um, if you have watched my vlogmas, I think it's vlogmas 1, if I'm not really sure. This is not the vlogmas 1 that you've seen um, in 2016, it was the vlog in 2015. And you can see how messy in the background my room actually is. But I started to realize, since my closet was in a huge mess, I decided to clean that as well. So I started to clean that first, and I, I did clean it, but then after like I've used it for some months it began to be messy again and I just pretty much just took all my clean clothes and just throw it in there that was a huge mistake because the thing was I couldn't find like I didn't know if it was dirty or was it messy like I don't really know what it was so it was difficult to like take the difference I just have to take care of my clothes they're clothes and I'm gonna wear them and I need to just I have to have it clean. So what I pretty much did, I tried my best as my like I tried so hard to not throw things. So what I do, I can actually show you with my sports bra. If I have a sports bra, like I have uh, this one, and I know it's it's clean, which it's actually not. It's actually quite sweaty, but it doesn't need to be washed now. I just pretty much just took it like this and I took it over like this and then something like this. It should look like something like this even though I also found out that I'm in love with the rolling technique so it looks like this, just like a little toasty roll. And, but that's pretty much what I did with my closet but th then I saw oh my god I need to do the rest of my room. I've learned that from my mom because she is a really good person when it comes to shopping. Um, but pretty much, um, my room has like, they had clothes in it everywhere and like it was books everywhere. It was just like a constant mess every day and it really started to stress me out. So I was like, ooh. But then I started watching something. It's called OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. And it was so weird. Because I started watching it, it's um, an episode, uh, I can actually leave a little video if you want to watch one. So when I started watching that, I just, every time I just wanted to clean my room. So I took the vacuum, just, I took the vacuum up to my room and I just started cleaning, pretty much. And after I just watched that, my room was clean. It was pretty much clean. And I just started learning that if I could keep my room more clean and organized, probably that would just help me with the stress. So it's, when I clean, like I, when I'm stressed, I clean. Um, and then I started actually realizing I wanted to organize every part of my room. So I actually cleaned my whole room, like my whole, whole room. Um, I did that in about one week and I had a lot of stuff that I didn't want to keep and I'm actually so excited and also quite happy that I've 
like thrown things away that I don't even need and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep. That I have also three hamsters who can be quite messy and poop and pee everywhere in my room and also even though two of them are downstairs. But even though Silver and Shadow, there are two new family members. But even though they are, I still love them and even though they poop and pee, pee everywhere, even though I still love them. So Teddy is like right there because he can run in this room if he is allowed to because I of course let him out. So how I actually take care of a hamster while I'm being this clean person. It's so weird that after like all these organizing things and all that I just wanted to organize my hamster stuff. So you already see the haul from Samvika, um, which from Samvika uh which is a shopping center, a towel under his cage. And if you're wondering why I do that, it's because um, my floor is quite cold, so if he gets cold, it's not a good thing. So it's actually very good to have a towel just under if you have them in your room, and that's what I have. And then I have some hamster stuff beside that, so it's much easier for me to grab like the bedding and some extra food, which is actually not the it's not the um, uh, un or the unhealthy food. It's actually the healthy food. Yeah. Something I'm not cleaning, cleaning so, um, is that when I clean, it's, it's just like I feel weird doing it. But, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, some tips that I've learned along the way watching organizing videos and all that, I do that still because I'm in love with organizing and cleaning videos. Um, as you've probably seen on my YouTube channel, I have some fun, quite a lot. Um, I've learned that even though, like, even though your room can get messy, you still have an opportunity to clean it because even though you are like, you go from not, not clean to a really clean person. And I started at a really young age, even though I know a lot of people say, oh, I started at three years old. I'm like, I started at a really young age. I feel like I did because and. I have a challenge for you because I really want you to actually do it because it's so fun at the same time even though you understand why it's not necessary. If you watch one of the episodes that I just so you know, I want you to actually have one week of yourself doing that. One week, you have one week to do it and I actually clean the bathroom four times a day. That is not good, <laughs> but I was. The thing is that when they do it, it just you see why it's not a good reason to actually do it that often. Even though people are like, oh, it's bacteria, just everything. But I really want you to just try one week. Being that a really just an OCD person, just clean everything that you know you just have in the house and you just need to clean. It's like, oh no, you get bacteria. Oh no, it's not good. It's oh no, the dust. Like all that kind of stuff. Just. Just try it, I really recommend you. Like, I clean my room every single day, but that is just because I have a lot of mess. I don't, I don't take my windows every day, I don't vacuum every day, I don't take my sheets every day. So, I really hope that you enjoy this little video. French, French, I love French. Um, anyway, I'll see you in my next video, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you. Bye guys!